aging, distillation process, base product, and production area. What am I talking about? The similarities and differences between cognac and whiskey. Hi, I'm Pascal Bernas with French Wine Explorers, and we help wine lovers become connoisseurs with our online classes and immersive wine tours in France. When choosing a spirit to drink, the choices are plenty and sometimes daunting. So in this video, we're gonna go over the similarities and differences between cognac from France and whiskey from the United States. There's a saying that cognac is a brandy, but not all brandies are cognacs. So let's figure out why. Cognac is a special brandy from the town of Cognac in France, which is not far from Bordeaux and an easy add-on to our Bordeaux wine tours. Cognac comes from a unique blend of grapes, Uni Blanc, Colombal varietals, and Folle Blanche. Much like Champagne, Cognac is made only in authorized regions of France. Now, once the brandy is ready, it distills in copper pot stills twice and then aged in oak barrels for a minimum of two years. The barrels must be French oak and they must come from the Tonsé or Limousin area. Now, there are official quality assurances from Cognac and this is based on how long it's aged. It could have been very simple by just using numbers to designate the amount of years aged in barrel, but unfortunately it's a little bit more complicated than that and it's a alphabetical system. So let's go over the different types of aged cognac. VS Cognac has spirits and it's the youngest brandy and it's two years old. VSOP doubles the requirement to four years aged in oak barrels. XO is the brandy that's at least 10 years old. And since 2019, there's XXO, which is called extra extra old, for anything that's aged over 14 years in casks. Whiskey gets its name from the Scottish language of Gaelic. Whiskey is made from fermented grain mash, which can include wheat, barley, rye, and corn grain. Distilling techniques originated around 1100 by monks in Scotland and Ireland. Since wine wasn't available there, they distilled barley beer into liquor and that became whiskey. Just like in cognac, whiskey ages in oak barrels. Now in cognac, we've gone over the fact that they use letters in order to designate how long the cognac has been aged in oak barrels. For whiskey, the age in barrel is much more simple. It's designated by a number, three, five, 10, or so on. So that's a lot easier to better understand how many years and therefore what the quality of the whiskey is based on how many years it's been aged. All right, so now let's talk about the distillation process. Whiskey is distilled only once, whereas cognac is distilled twice. Let's go into that a little bit deeper. For cognac, distillation takes place when the wine is fermented. Then the second fermentation makes it a colorless concentrate. And then this is left to age in oak barrels after which it turns into cognac. The manufacturers of whiskey distill the spirit only once, although some countries, such as Scotland and Ireland, distill two or three times. Each time a whiskey is heated, condensed, and collected, we call that a distillation. So if you do it twice, it's called a double distillation. Three times, well, you get the idea, triple distillation. It's important to know that aging for whiskey and for cognac is the same in that it stops as soon as it's taken out of the oak barrels and put into bottles. One of the major differences between whiskey and cognac is the base product. Now this is very simple. Whiskey is made from grains, usually barley mixed with another type of grain. And cognac is made from grapes. The last difference we wanted to go over between whiskey and cognac is the production area. Now whiskey can be named whiskey regardless of where it's made. As a side note, whiskey can be spelled with an EY at the end or simply with a Y at the end. This is a simple yet noteworthy difference between the two. Whiskey with no E usually denotes Scotch whiskey and Scotch inspired liquors. It can also come from Japan and Canada, 
But if it ends in an EY, it denotes the Irish and American liquors. And yes, this is confusing and perhaps by design. However, cognac can only be called cognac if it's produced in cognac. So whiskey and cognac are both very popular today. We've seen the similarities in how they age in oak barrels and how many years they age. We know that whiskey is distilled once and cognac is distilled twice. And we also know that the base product for whiskey is grain and the base product for cognac is grapes. So whether you like whiskey or cognac, the choice is yours, but now you know the main differences and similarities between the two. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And in the meantime, we say cheers.